Welcome to the John Report. I'm John. Here's my report. Well, Spider-Man was a surprise guest this week at a Beacon Hill Elementary anti-drug assembly. The kids said that Spider-Man convinced them not to use drugs because they don't want to end up as a pathetic 30-year-old hanging out at grade schools in rubber masks and tights. <laughs> More than 50 minutes of new footage will be added to the movie Dances with Wolves when it airs on Como. The new footage will include a car chase and women in swimsuits. Yeah! A former University of Washington economics professor has won a Nobel Prize for his economic theory. Briefly, his theory states that if some idiot gives your star quarterback $50,000, it's going to cost you big in sanctions. <laughs> Now, Washington State and Burlington Northern announced this week they plan to spend $27 million developing passenger rail service between Seattle and Vancouver, B.C. Meanwhile, Seattle's $27 million bus tunnel continues to provide excellent pedestrian service between the Bonn and Nordstrom. <laughs> Boeing rolled out its 1,000th 747 at the Everett plant on Tuesday. The event was celebrated with a company-wide nap. Well, <laughs> sharp. Charles Barkley has announced his retirement from pro basketball just two weeks after the same announcement from uh, rival Michael Jordan. Barkley gave as the reason the fact that his entire career has been based on coming in second to Jordan. <laughs> Diet guru Susan Powder was in Seattle this week to promote her new book, Stop the Madness. Her appearance at a local bookstore was so popular that the crowd had to be paired into two lines. One line for people who wanted an autograph, and the other for those who just wanted to pet her head. <laughs> Finally, Pearl Jam's new record was released on vinyl this week. When asked to compare it to the band's first record, 10, lead singer Eddie Vedder said, this one is so good, there's no way the Stone Temple Pilots can copy it. This has been the trial part. Thank you. And we'll be right back.